Let's take a look at the basics of IV fluid administration. And uh, first one uh, is wants us to find drops per minute. So, or drops per minute, I'll just say D for drops, uh, is equal to amount in milliliters. And this problem, uh, so they tell us the amount of fluid in the milliliters is 400. So we'll have 400. And time in minutes, uh, well, it's five hours, so we're going to take five uh, times 60 to put it into uh, minutes. Because this uh, drops per minute, so we don't want drops per hour. And then times our drop factor. Well, they tell us drop factor in this uh, problem is 60. So take that times 60. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and drop uh, the milliliters there. So 400 divided by 300 times 60. And this is drops per minute. So we've got 400 divided by 300 times 60. And that gives us 80. So 80 drops per minute. Okay, next problem. Again, one or drops. And the, amount, the total amount here is 500. So we've got 500 milliliters. Over time in minutes. Well, it's three hours. So we're going to have three times 60. And that'll give us our minutes. Times our drop factor, which in this problem is 20. So we're going to have 500 divided by 180 times 20, stripping out the unit, all the units. So 500 divided by 180 times 20. And I'll go ahead and round this, so 56 drops per minute. Our third problem, we're wanting to find the flow rate. And the flow rate is volume in milliliters over time in hours. So the nurse is asked to infuse 200 240 milliliters. So our flow rate, 240 milliliters over uh, time in hours. It says two hours. So we got two hours. 240 divided by 2 gives us 120 milliliters per hour. Now four. It says nurse is asked to infuse two liters in twelve hours. Well, the top part has to be in milliliters. If I remember my um, metric conversion, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Uh, our units is liters, and we're going to move it three places to the right for the milliliters. Now, if I were to put a decimal, it would be right here. So the top part becomes 2,000 milliliters over 12 hours. So we got 2,000 divided by 12. And I'll go ahead and round it. And it gives us 167 milliliters per hour. Another flow rate one. It says nurse is asked to infuse uh, 120 milliliters. That's our volume in 30 minutes. Well, now the bottom part needs to be in hours. And 30 minutes is half an hour, so I'll put 0 0.5 hours down here. So that's going to give us. 120 divided by 0 0.5, 240. Yeah. 240 milliliters per hour. Now 
Next problem is asking us to find the infusion time. Infusion time is volume in milliliters over the flow rate in milliliters. And that's um, milliliters per hour. Uh, patients receive LR 1200 milliliters. So 1200 milliliters goes on top at 150 milliliters per hour. So 150 milliliters per hour. So 1200 divided by 150 <coughs> excuse me means that it's going to be for 8 hours. Uh, let's see. Total volume. It's going to equal T in hours. Well, this says for four hours. So we're going to have four hours. Times our flow rate in milliliters per hour. Uh, so our flow rate is 60 milliliters per hour. So 60 milliliters per hour. That gives us 240. And the hours would cancel here, and we're just left with milliliters. So that would be our volume kind of a short unit. Um, they have basically revolve around um, the same concept um, formula wise, just you know, solving for different things basically.